So in this video, we'll talk about that service the inbuilt functionality called syntax editor macro. So in this session, or in this series, last few days we are talking about that how we can write the code, various example real time scenario we are discussing. But in today's sessions, we'll talk about that syntax editor. So it is very important that um, um, side by side you are you know that how to write the code, how to implement that which object uh, in the service now, but also you should know the service now. Uh, features right so if I go back to for example if I go back to the business rule for example and I'm going to create a new business rule so what I'll do I'll go to the business rule and click the new and I will be able to create a new business rule now here if we click the advance and under that we can write the code and now using the help of the syntax editor macro we can pre-populate or we can uh, you know generate some code which is related to the service now for example we need to query certain table for example we need to query to the incident table or change table and based on that we need to uh, get the input and we can populate something like that right to to do that what we normally do we write that var gr equal to new glide record all those stuffs instead of that if we simply type var gr right normally what we do we do the var space gr that new glide record all those stuff instead of that if we just type var gr and press only tap so once we press the tap you can see by default service now can generate this code for you so it will generate that here you need to push the table name you need to give that field name and then value and you will get the result here so service now have the functionality using the macro or syntax editor macro service now have a functionality that regenerate or auto generate some predefined code that is defined under the service now similarly let's say this is the query we can do right so what we can do or uh, let's say that we can just type doc doc and then press tab it will generate some predefined code like description parameter result so this way we can generate our automatically code okay now let's say that we want to do a or query for that what we do we will say that var gr or right and then press tab you can see automatically it will generate a or query like light record particular table this is that uh, field first field and our condition second field and then here it is while loop and it will generate a or query for me so i don't need to write or remember all these stuffs in my, my memory service now inbuilt have a functionality um, you know from here you can uh, just type couple of shortcuts and then once you do that it automatically help you to generate your code now question is that how this is coming or how if we want to modify or if we want to create our own code which is very reusable which is very mostly frequently used how we can do that ourselves or where these things are controlling right to get these details you simply go to this uh, syntax editor you have a call syntax editor macro in service now if you open the syntax editor macro you will have these uh, all six out of box functionality you can see and if you want to create your own you can definitely create your own right so for example we are using the bad gear using the bad gear we can automatically system will generate this code if we are using that VAT GR OR system will automatically generate this code, right? So we can create our own uh, code or own syntax also. For example, I am going to build a new uh, syntax editor. Let's say that I will type that VAT GR get and press tab, right? What will be happen? It will generate a particular table and then once we, it will generate the particular table after that you will be able to query to particular field or maybe it will be able to query to that uh, CSID right to do that what we will do I will click the new and then here I should put the name of this shortcut so what I will do var gr gate so this is my name and here under this text I should define that which text should automatically populate it for my case we are gr equal to new glide so g will be capital glide record and here i should populate some table name i don't know at that moment 
but I should populate some table name, right? So in the single quotes, I'll put dollar and zero. So it will be my table name. Next, gr dot get. So maybe more specific if gr dot get. Here I will pass the value, and after that, here I will get actually the value, right? So I will say that dollar and then one and here I'll get that my code okay or here I'll get or maybe um, return something called gr dot name something any kind of code I have stored example for example this dollar zero dollar one will be a, a placeholder where I can put some value okay fine I have created this syntax editor macro here now if I reflex uh, refresh this business rule and type this keyword called var gr get so let's do that so under advanced if I type that var gr get and simply press tab button it will automatically pre-generate some of the code and you can see these are the code it's generate here I can pass the sys ID here I can pass the table name and it will return some name so if you are using or frequently some code you are using you can define under this syntax editor macro and then you can simply press that shortcut and press tab button it will automatically generate that code with some uh, if you want you can put some you know uh, predefined uh, you know sample text or any kind of uh, message if you want to pre-populate you can define and it will automatically generate your code so you don't need to remember whole code it will automatically service now can automatically generate that code. Uh, again I will recommend you not to try this because if you keep practicing keep trying your code by in your hand it will um, easy to remember um, as many as time you are frequently using that code but if you want to use this functionality you should use this syntax editor macro so that's it for today if you have any question let me in my comment section thank you very much have a great day